Security! You can hear the disbelief in the man's voice as he calls for security. Two protesters throwing tomato soup at one of the most precious pieces of art in the world. They want to just stop oil, but the only oil here is in the paint. Last week it was cheese. They poured milk over the dairy counter at Selfridges. Do you guys not intervene? You don't intervene. And this is what's angering so many. We're not allowed to stop them, say Selfridges staff. Even when they throw paint at Scotland Yard itself. For many, the police's lightness of touch is a sign of weakness. Rumours abound the police have been handing out cups of tea. Met Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rawley is defending his force's lack of force. I haven't seen the cups of tea point and I hope we haven't been doing that because I don't think we should be. I agree with you, that's not our responsibility. Are these, are these protests, are they currently or are they heading towards causing serious disruptions to life of the community. And over the last 11 days, um, all of those partners have been a view that it doesn't cause serious disruption. Many are saying, if this isn't serious disruption, then what is? They glue themselves to the street, they block roads. An ambulance forced to find another route. Just Stop Oil say these protests are the only way to get their message across. I think we've seen with all the strike action that's happening, you don't get anything by just sitting on the sidelines and sitting and wishing. Yeah. You have to make it unignorable, and we have been ignored for so long. But it's not just oil. Insulate Britain out too. Here, gluing themselves to the pavement outside Parliament to disrupt Prime Minister's question time. This weekend, the turn of Extinction Rebellion. A mass sit-in, events and speakers, culminating in a march on Westminster this afternoon. They say the government's policies are unjust. They say the climate crisis is being ignored. They say they're aiming for 100,000 on the streets by 2023. Today, they're marching from Hyde Park to Parliament Square in what they're calling a show of strength, Many now wondering who has the strength to stop them before someone gets seriously hurt or worse. Jeff Moody, GB News.